uh, We've been rocking since the sandbox, man Stop playing with my dog, Scooper Steve He the man, got plans, bro, to give him what you need Hot damn, from the court to the field, they elite I'm saying, why, yes, got the hot takes in loose state checking Talking about all the highlights from alleys to interceptions From tutties to dope perceptions and fantasy weak projections And honestly, think you gotta tune in to get the message Let's go Literally an hour ago. So Jalen uh, Ramsey being shipped to the Miami Dolphins. You guys are Patriots fans, so interested to hear your perspective. Only for a third-round pick and tight end mm-hmm. Hunter Long. So I thought that this compensation was was a little bit different. We heard the Rams, you know, really wanting to kind of like reset, rebuild. And yeah, like they're committed to Aaron Donald. Yeah, they're committed to Cooper Cup. Guys like Ramsey, guys like B- B-Wags, Bobby Wagner, like Allen Robinson. These are all guys that they brought around to try and continue that championship window. And it just didn't work out. I definitely thought that there could have been teams that would have offered more for Jalen Ramsey, but were being paid eighteen million a year over the next two, three years. Like I get where that's you know really complicated. So for you guys, you know, with, with Miami in the division, this make it a little bit scary on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, like, do you guys think Miami's like a real threat with or without Ramsey? I know how you feel about Ramsey. It's but I, I do I do just kind of feel like he brings more of like a pedigree rather uh-huh. than like just like a, a straight dominance, you know? He brings that. some swag to that team too. Yeah. yeah. And I mean like with Cheetah they are they're already pretty like swaggy, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, and they have they have like they have Xavier Howard on the other side too. So yeah. it's not like he has to always play complete lockdown. Like you can move right. him around a little bit and stuff, and I'm sure he'll end up taking a side of the field and And Jones in the safe the safety position. Well they we'll just they just year. moved on from Jones. They did? They got Javon yeah. Holland though. Yeah, they do oh, have yeah. Javon yeah. Holland. Javon right. But but uh, Byron Jones is going to be a post-June 1st cut, and there was actually some more details that came out with that. He went on a rant about, about the medical attention, you know, in the NFL. He said, don't take the pills, don't take the injections. I'm in my prime right now, and I can't run a jump to the best of my abilities because yeah. of that. So obviously, you know, there's a lot more to it, but he kind of knew that Miami was going to release him and just wanted to, you know, educate, you know, for young younger guys in the NFL that might have to go through that, that just want to get that injection to get back on the field. They're just going to take yep. those pills yep. so that they don't feel anything. But you never ha- have any idea of how that really impacts you. you Calvin know? Johnson got his career cut short. And who's – now I'm not – I don't want to speculate or anything, but, like, he's the best receiver that we've probably watched in Most our lifetime. Most dominant like, for sure. Really, yeah. yeah. Like, 100%. He, you turn on the TV, it was insane. And at the end of the, his career, he's like, I can't feel my fingers. Yeah. Yeah. But he's not necessarily coming out of games. He's like, all right, I'm going to go get that shot, and I'm going to go back out there and perform. And yeah. Who's to say that he couldn't have had a longer career if he wasn't doing all of that? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You see the Ravens are under fire for that stuff, too. Yeah. Judon taking the Twitter and, and all the other D-linemen over there. Oh, and Seems that to... doesn't look too it, yeah. It's a bad <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> and to be a Ravens. Yeah. Sorry, Anthony. It just so happens that every single time Twan's on the show, we always, <laughs> <laughs> we're, always we're always checking the culture of the Ravens for, for 2022 on. Poor man. Oh, my God. <laughs> we had to dissect those moves because they obviously impact the draft. And Ben and Twan are actually going to be joining us in April to go live. We'll be live on YouTube doing a mock draft a week before the NFL draft starts at the end of April. But we're here to dissect the rest of the quarterback yeah. position. So, you know, the top prospects we're talking about, we mentioned C.J. Stroud, we mentioned Bryce Young, but Anthony Richardson put on at the Combine. Like, if there's Absolutely. anyone that helped, you know, his value for, for where he'll get picked, it's definitely Anthony Richardson. 